How's it going guys? Welcome back to Blake Check. If you're new to the channel, my name is Blake. It's nice to meet you. If you're interested in my perspective as an early EV adopter, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Now, if you've been following along for a while, you'll be familiar with this electric vehicle behind me. This is my 2018 Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth Edition. As you guys know, this is my dream car. I made a ton of videos about why in particular it's my dream car. Some of those will be linked in the description below. Be sure to check that out and browse the rest of the channel. But in summary, it's because I think this is the perfect package of pricing, practicality, and performance. Now that begs the question, what would my dream car be if the Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth Edition didn't exist? That brings us over here to the 2022 Audi e-tron GT. It's a four-door electric sports sedan made by Audi that's owned by my friend Mike. So without further ado, let's go take a look at the 2022 Audi e-tron GT. The Audi e-tron GT is an all-electric performance sedan produced by Volkswagen Auto Group. It's based on the same platform as the Porsche Taycan. The e-tron GT was first unveiled in February of 2021 and went on sale in the United States in July of that same year. The first thing you'll notice about the e-tron GT is its sleek, sporty design. It's got a long, low hood, sloping roof line, and wide stance. The interior of the e-tron GT is just as impressive as the exterior. The cabin is spacious and luxurious with high quality materials and finishes. The dashboard features a 10 inch touchscreen display that controls the car's infotainment system, as well as a full size customizable digital gauge cluster ahead of the steering wheel. If I could fault the Audi e Tron GT's interior anywhere, it would be in the rear seats, which lack headroom and legroom compared to competitors. In terms of performance, the e Tron GT is powered by two electric motors, one on each axle. This gives the car all wheel drive and a combined output of 476 horsepower, which can propel the e Tron GT to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds and allow the e-tron to reach speeds of up to 155 miles per hour. While those numbers are pretty impressive, they don't quite match up to that of rivals on paper. That said, I don't think the numbers tell the full story of the Audi e-tron GT, and I think it's important to note that Audi also makes an RS version of the e-tron GT that's capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. The last thing that I want to mention is range. The e-tron GT has an EPA estimated range of 238 miles. This is a good range for an electric car and it should be enough for most people's daily commutes but personally I think if you're spending this much money on a car you should get at least over 300 miles of range. All right, you guys, we are sitting in the Audi e-tron GT. It is a beautiful cabin, by the way. The build quality in here is really just like next level, especially coming from the Tesla Model 3. So we're gonna go for a quick drive just to get some quick driving impressions. Mike, the owner of this e-tron has graciously or foolishly, I don't know, offered <laughs> to allow me to drive his car. Um, and he said he can hold the camera while I drive it too, because it's probably not safe for me to film and drive a super expensive car like this. Um, speaking of which, what was your purchase price on the Audi e-tron? It was about 120 Okay, so that's definitely making me sweat a little bit. The <laughs> Tesla Model 3, I bought that for 48 and I'm kind of like nervous to drive that, or at least I was when I first got it, I'm a little <laughs> more comfortable now. But like this is, this is three of those essentially in terms of price. So it's just like, I'll be careful, I promise. Let's get going. Let's see here. First thing I got to say is that it's a lot smoother than I expected. I, we're on kind of like a rougher parking lot area and um, it's smoother than even my Tesla. Oh, I just noticed that the seatbelt kind of just like pulled me in. That's really cool. I'm going to floor it. Go ahead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. So it's got a little giddy up. I mean, I'm impressed. I will tell you that just like driving a Model 3 performance, you get a little jaded. So there are a few cars that can really surprise you and just like get you excited when you floor the accelerator. This is on that short list, I think. So, I mean, and then to add to that, you have a sportier suspension setup um, for better handling. I think that overall, this is probably a, a more dynamic driving experience. Um, you've driven uh model 3 performance and this didn't you own a model 3 performance no, I, ha I had a model s okay but i have driven a model 3 performance but obviously you've chosen this over both of those and was driving dynamics part of your decision to go with that this car over those absolutely yeah. this this feels just like a lighter car that's uh, a good point because i feel like especially like with this car being bigger than the model 3 performance for it to feel like this light and nimble is really just a testament to like the suspension setup, the tires, and I'm sure just the weight distribution. I, they're doing some sort of magic over there at Audi to make this car feel nice and easy to drive, maneuverable and stuff, um, but I love it. All right, you guys, thanks for watching this far into the video. If you liked what you saw, leave me a like below and comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the Audi e-tron GT. But well, that's all for now. This has been Blake Check, and that's a wrap.